So, this thing takes 2D and 3D. Okay. So under, we'll start with 3D since it's already there. Okay. Most of the time, this thing does an 8 centimeter scan. So basically, most of the time, you're just going to do a full arc scan. And you can, you can vary where you want it to go depending on where you touch. Yep. Typically, I just go somewhere like that. That's going to give you your full arch. If you need more posterior, you can go a little more posterior. Yeah, you can do side by side, left, right, middle, stuff like that. You can kind of move it around. It's not super intuitive. Um, but that's basically, it's kind of a very uh, easy thing to do. Big guy, little guy buttons right here. So 3D big guy, little guy buttons are fine. I'll just teach you something else on Panorex. Panorex we're gonna be a little more specific on. So big guy, little guys, most everybody can be between those two unless they're a child. Um, if they're a child, you can go like one of these lower ones here. Um, HD should always be on. All you have to do is press that. And that's about it for 3D pretty stinking easy. Once you have this set up, you're going to do this first. You're going to kind of get the, this part set up for what you want to do first before you put the patient and all that stuff in. Most machines are backwards, actually. Well, you do the patient first. There's a chair behind you. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it from that. Yeah, it's okay. It's working. Okay. So, that's that. Um, there. You also have a drawer right here on the unit to put accessories, stash of weed, uh, whatever you want to do. It's a perfect spot. Yes. Yeah. Um, chin rest itself, um, there's a bunch of them, y'all. There's so many accessories on this unit, it's mind boggling. This is a Panorex. Just put your grooves of the bite, you know, put the teeth in the grooves here. And you've got some bite sticks. I mean, bike covers right here. I'll give you some. You don't have to order some more, obviously. But those are bike covers for this. Now you have an alternate option. You see these little blue things? They're expensive, but hey, you got a whole bag of them. Might as well use them. That goes with this. Okay. See, that's another Panorex option too. So I'll get to use this a little bit. This is cool because let's go to Pan. I'm gonna select Pan real quick. Yep, and we hit R and watch this is going to move. R key, the R key is a reset, and we'll go over that in just a second. So this goes in here like that. Right? Now, if you notice, look at this little icon right here. Y'all see the little icon right there? Notice what happens when I go like this. I'm moving this, and it's telling you what spot you're supposed to be in. Look at the arrow. Perfect. You see how it doesn't tell you give it an arrow go up or down? Mm -hmm. Which it's kind of silly actually because that looks like it's a little up. On Panorexes, you want the patient inclined down a little bit. And what that does, this right here, watch this. Because you're supposed to be sanitary, right? I'll stick my finger here on one. So you take this and you wrap it around. So. And they bite on that. And that way, and that tells you where, to, where you're at. Which, to each their own. Because you always want occlusal plane down a little bit for Panorex, right? You don't want it level, you don't want it up, you, and you don't want it too far down. You want it just down, just a little bit, about right there. When that bag runs out, we're done with those. We don't need them. Yeah, you don't need them. No. Nope. Well, we can just use the cover. You don't even need right. to use them now. Right. Because right. honestly, you this guy is It's fine. You just go right on it. Yeah. yeah. They're fine. But you got some. I don't know what else to do with them. So yeah, no. We can Merry play Christmas. with them. And, uh, yeah. You can do what you That's want with all That's for cash pair clients. Yeah. 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 PPO's. Maybe get special. PPO's special. get the dip tank pan. <laughs> <laughs> With the huge jaw <laughs> and the earrings. <laughs> right. Love it. 
Yeah, this is um, this is for 3D. You could put those little things on it as well. The blue one here. And I think does this one do the? Uh, yeah. There's so many accessories here. Um, it's for like you know lower, upper, lower type situation where if you want to do uh, more of a maxillary shot, you can have them lower in the bite stick, and then mandible shots you can have them higher in the bite stick. Cool stuff, huh? Mm -hmm. So cool. So technically, though, we could just use that yeah. for all of them and just yeah. exactly. raise or lower. Yep, yep, that's exactly right. We go for ease. Mm -hmm. So, Panorex. Yeah, so Panorex. Oh, let me go over the this one. Sorry. Um, up, down. Elevator up buttons. Now you can put a damper on that little beeper thing because it's loud without it. Um, laser light right here. That tells you up, down, you know. Yep. So basically, y'all see me over here like that. You see these laser lights right here? You mm -hmm. see the two lines? Yeah. Whatever's in between those two lines is what you're imaging on 3D. So just make sure they're in between that line. Okay. And yeah. you line it up with the gray on the right, or what are you lining your lasers up their with? Face. Your they face. Their face. Mm -hmm. On their face. On your face. But man. those lasers are just markers. They don't actually control where the X-ray units go. No, you just got to make sure you put the patient in between. Yeah, those. If, you line them, those if you line them up and they're like this, then you know to bring it. To okay. Bring them down. I see. Yeah. What you're and that's why you'd want to use this. That's the laser, and use this. That way, you line them up and get them where they need to be. Okay. Um, that, so um, up, down, laser lights, and then you have. The head squeezers. They kind of sound like something from Star Wars, don't they? <laughs> Mandalorian or something. So the R key is a reset rewind button. And if and if you're ever pushing the button and nothing's happening, there's an R key on that box outside too. Just hit it one time. Sometimes it's like mm. if it ever gives you like a 301 code, if it ever says like 301, it's asking you to reset it. And if you ever get a red error up here or whatever, you can always hit the R key to get it out of it too. Sometimes it, these machines get kind of like moody and it's like, hey, I don't want to do this. So there you go. You hit R key and force them. You will go to your room, right? Um, <laughs> so on Panorex, excuse me, on Panorex, um, can y'all see that okay? Go ahead, spun around here. On Panorex, the one thing I always tell people, this is like the biggest thing, this is the biggest problem with Panorex. If you go to the big guy button, your KV and MA is only 73 and 15. All major, all major manufacturers have to make their machines their maximum at 70 or 73, which is horrible, because watch. If you press it, you can go all the way up to 90 and 12. So your big white streaks in the middle of your pans that drive you nuts, I hate those things. It's because you're hitting the big guy button and you got this dude in there. Mm -hmm. And you're like, that spinal compensation, you're getting no detail in those anterior roots, are you? I look good, my pans look good at 80 and 10. I've taken so many on me, I know that's what looks good. But the top one only says 73 and 15. Your KV, your KV, is your contrast. That's what gives you a good looking image. MA is just what pushes your KV through. Okay, so you need a bigger ball of wax to make the image look better. Don't be afraid, I don't care if you're male, female, old, young, I don't give a flip. All I care about is how much distance between my neck and my front teeth. On Panorexes, that's all I care about. I, like I said, people are like, oh, she's just a female. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, well, I mean, she's kind of hunched over a little bit, right? Yeah. So that's what it is. You got that. So when you take the Panorex and you're done, these will all automatically open for you. And the patient can just come out. Um, and I can, you can swivel this over the side. The patient hangs on to this. And don't do the whole. Yeah. Feet underneath you, feet straight, head straight. 
chin down just a little bit, hold on to your handles here, and rock and roll. That's it. And just kind of make them, I make them smile, and make sure that their teeth are on here because, you know, class two, class three people are like, hey, I got it. And you're like, no, you don't. <laughs> you know. Pretty easy operation. Um, software. Oh, you can sit down right there. You can do it. I'll let you try to kill it. So, are you acquiring pans in the other office through a 3D, through a, a third party, or do you use Insidex as a I got the same thing, I think, down there. Yeah, okay. So, so you just up. do Sidex as 4 right here? Just launch that sucker. Just that angle. Now, will these go right into EagleSoft or no? You're going to have to do your EagleSoft on here. And then do the Twain is already installed on here, but your IT is going to put EagleSoft on here and do their integration. Yeah. It yeah, is you, easy once if you have any two seconds. If okay, any, I was trying to take a pan of peach there at your office and you couldn't figure that out. No, but it is doable in like two seconds. There's okay. a way they know how to do it. I just don't. You can always call the support number if you don't have you have integration issues. Okay. That's us. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so nice patience. <laughs> it's right there. Very good, very good idea. I can't find your number. Okay, so patient right here. And then go down here to add, down here at the bottom left. And you can put in somebody, go ahead. Kelly, you can put somebody in there. Just put a test patient. Just put a test, test, or whatever. Where do I go now? Tab. Hit tab. Tab. The tab right here, tab. Okay. I couldn't tell you. Nope, not tab. the drink. <laughs> like tab or tab? From 1986, Tabbing. but tab. Tab. Yep. And then you're going to do card ID, can just be a random number. It can be a chart number. Yep. And then date of birth, hit the date of birth, you click it. So you would have to do this for every patient, or can we get this? For is every just 3D for patient, yes. For every 3D patient. For every pan patient, it's going to integrate from Eagle Soft. Am I going to put in a birthplace? No. Am I supposed to be All taking right. patients it. from Dr. Martin? Sure. Um, there's a crown that needs to be. Is it Kevin Bradley? I don't know. All right, tell him we'll call him back. Save. Okay. Yep. For sure. Save. <laughs> yep. Hit that word. Hit hit that little X-ray machine. Yep. And then just hit next. You don't have to worry about any of this. Just hit next and it's ready to go. So now you'll notice that the unit is ready to roll. Actually, excuse me, I'm, I missed that one. Don't hit that next button until you have the patient in here ready to go. Okay. Sorry, I went too quick there. Uh, so yeah. it kind of gets it right. Let's get your patient in here because if you hit that button already, you can't go up or down or anything. You can't adjust. Oh, yeah. so you have to have them ready and yeah. then. Yeah, then hit you. I'm sorry. Once you. Or ready, then you hit that next button. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I went one two step, one step too fast here. And then you're ready to go. You're gonna say, "Okay, walk on in here. Here we go. Okay, don't bump your shoulder." You know. And so you can stay on this side or that side. And look, you can turn your mirror this way. Look, come here. Don't be scared. Mm -hmm. I took a shower. <laughs> Breath probably stinks though. Um, you're just gonna line them up. You're gonna raise them or lower them. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to look at it, you're going to raise or lower to make sure the occlusal plane's down, right? Right. Once you have that, you're going to say the last two things you're going to say. You're going to be like, okay, be real still. You're going to say, <laughs> tongue to the roof of your mouth and lips tighter on the bite piece. I just tell people to close their eyes too, because then they try to follow. They can. Some people. <laughs> they do like, see? I never thought yeah. that. And then. Oh, you said swallow and then tongue to the roof of your mouth. Yep. Yeah. So it may say, look, it says 301, doesn't it? Yeah. Boom, hit the R key. Yep. Because it tells you on the screen exposure not possible. Please see your help message on the screen. It's oh, saying okay. 301, you know, some pissed off engineers like, I'm just going to put H301 instead of hit R key. <laughs> yeah. We call that angry engineering. They, they just feel like, you know, Germans, you know. So that's the 3D sensor side. This is going to rotate back again to the pan side here. I had it on pan, didn't I? Yes. Didn't I have it on pan? Pretty sure we had that on pan. Pretty sure I did. Oh no, it says 3D. Oh. Here. Oh, okay, I think I'm not too fast. So, Just quit that, that is fine. 
me go back to here. Yeah, we so have I would have to switch the program info? No, 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 don't worry about that. It's over oh. here on the screen. Do this one. Okay. There we go. And then I'll change that. No, you don't have to do that at all. That's the leave that where it is. Oh, so that'll automatically. Did I put it back at 3D where it was? Mm -mm. See, don't even worry. That's just patient and go. Everything else is on here. Okay. So pan, it's already ready to go. P1, R button. Please set T to max. Shade A2, A2, IPN, and return for value. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Okay, so now we're going to rotate back to pan. Yeah, that's the pan sensor and it's the 3D sensor. Now, there's another option on here that I haven't showed you yet. You're going to like it a lot. Watch this. Bite wings, baby. So BW1 or BW2? Anterior, posterior. Cool, huh? How do they look now? Yeah, I was going to say. They look they... freaking phenomenal. They're wonderful. You're going to prefer them. So P1 is your Panorex. BW1 and BW2 are your bike wings. That sound like a plan? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what did you push again? Just these? The little plus sign. The plus, okay. Mm -hmm. If you can get the phone out of the way, you can see what's going on. <laughs> This is important. Back. We're going to be watching this yeah, video we'll later. Then You'll like, see. Oh, it's You're going to be while, begging for this video. P1. One. Yep. Like five years, yeah. So P1 like is your pan. Many, then just go one, two, three, four, four for BW1, five pluses for BW2. Cool, man. And then big guy, little guy buttons. That's it. Right. So I start with like the scanners up there, right down. Did you guys catch all that? No, but it's on video. There you go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're talking about having sheets that so, face up this, do this, do this. So P1, get your patient in. Hit next. Well, on Panorexes, you're going to be in your Eagle Okay. Yep. For 3D, you're going to be in this program. Okay. Yes, sir. So, and here's what I would say. Okay. I'll take cut for now. We're good for now.